Well, it's all very busy here today and we're just about to leave Crick Marina, Crick Wharf Marina on the way to Braunston for a bit of bottom paint. So here we go, the first challenge of the voyage, Crick Tunnel. close to the edge because there's another boat coming. And another boat. This is a two boat tunnel. It's all exciting. Pretty bright light they've got anyway. There we go, we survived the tunnel and two boats. Bonus. First obstacle complete. On we go. And here's our second obstacle. We've got Watford Locks, which is a flight of, I think, seven locks. Here we are, going down. Okay, and there's the uh, rest of the flight. So the sequence is on these lock gates. Paddle wheels, white before red, and you'll be dead. Red before white, and you'll be all right. And that's pretty much the flight done, just another one round the corner. And that's about it. All the locks done. Staircase lock, Watford. So this morning we're at Buckby. Uh, there's a boat here that could do with probably a better bilge pump. But uh, we're just here at Buckby Top Locks and uh, we're here to fill with water. So uh, quite close to the road. And then we'll be turning around and going back towards Braunston. See the water going in. So, well, today we've uh, got our third obstacle, which is another tunnel, and this one is the Braunston Tunnel. Length 1873 metres. And there it is, coming up. Probably going to be quite wet inside as well. Well, here's the uh, Braunston Tunnel done. No dramas and just out in time for another boat to come in behind us. Well, it's a busy old day on the canal system. We're here at uh, Braunston, top lock. And uh, as we can see, we've got two boats coming up there and we're just waiting our turn to go down. So uh, it's all a waiting game, but not too bad. Pleasant day. And we're off. Double locks this time, so uh, we've got a lock buddy. And that's the first of the locks done. Here we've got the lock gates being opened. Nice click click sound. So now we're uh, at one of the best locks ever. Just about to go 
down this one and then probably park up somewhere because remarkably we're near the Admiral Nelson pub. Now I'm not sure what Admiral Nelson was doing this far inland but we'll go and find out anyway. And here's the final lock before our dry dock. So that's the lock slowly emptying and turned out to be quite a nice day today. Despite the rain this morning, we should have a good sunset. Here we are, we're going into the dry dock. This is run by Union Canal Carriers. Nice, helpful, friendly bunch of people. I'm looking forward to doing some painting. There we go, a nice dry space. So here's the water going out, revealing the anodes in pretty good condition. So the dock is mostly dry and uh, now we're just getting on with cleaning and scraping and putting Sharon to good work down here. You having fun yet? <laughs> and here we are now doing the fun part, the pressure washing. So uh, yeah, it um, needs to start halfway down one side, round the front and back, and then halfway down the other side, front and back. So I've been told. And, uh, here we are. Sharon enjoying putting black stuff on as well down there. Well, that's a couple of coats of black that have gone on. So each coat has taken uh, 10 litres of blacking. And we're just waiting now for 48 hours before we launch. And today, we're going on to the fun bits of different colour paints and uh, just sprucing up the blue. This is the dry dock getting wet again. Drawbridge going up and to the side, and we're off out. And that's pretty much it. We're out of the dry dock, back on the canal side. Uh, we should have been out for three days, but of course, the weather turned cold, so we we're out for four days. And uh, used 20 litres of blacking and uh, it's all looking quite smart. Time to cruise.